Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. That's okay. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? Doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Maybe my carpets are mad. <laughs> Give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, good fun. See you round. Yep, up, up, and away. You, sir. Hello. 
Salam, please. Salam, please. Fine lamps with shades made of Egyptian papyrus. You like? Come closer. Our colorful lamps are the best in Morocco. Come closer. Come closer. Our colorful lamps are the best in Morocco. Hello there. Salam. What would that answer? Too much order for my taste. But a rock has ideas, you know, or an ideology that I can sympathize with. What do you mean? Well, he rejects the failed political dogmas of today. Democracy doesn't work. It's a powerhouse that fuels economic bubbles bursting like a leap year. So you don't believe in democracy? Oh, no, no, no. I do. I, I believe in it. I just don't believe in what it's become. A shield to cover up corruption, and you can't tell the difference between one party on the left and one on the right. It's confusing. Yeah, it is pretty depressing. And that's where I find Crystal Dawn interesting. How you been? Hmm. Yeah, please, go ahead. Who are you, no. man? Oh, uh, yeah, what was that all about? Are you nuts? Nice and... We've got you. Uh nice and slow. I got you in my... Is that all oh, you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Hey, we need some help here. Please get some help. Target spotted. Hey, hey, I need your help. Um, no. Hey, I think we got a serious problem. We need your help. Relax, relax. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Did you not hear all that suffering over there, man? I must not treat someone right. Someone get up there, off and give a girl for the help. Please, you need to leave Jesus. now. It's for your own sake. Sure thing. Oh no! Whoa! Uh, could somebody help me, please? Oh, no! Oh, my God, I'm glad to help. Please, you gotta come and help. I don't know. What's going on? There's a body over there, right over there. And you know what? 
Some person's really getting a kick out of being a jerk on me. Gonna be sorry! Ghost, huh? Jesus! Under fire! Disappear! Hey, Captain. I'm gonna wake up. One, two, three. Oh, God, don't let me die. <laughs> Come in, Central. People are dying. There's a killer on the loose. Male, Caucasian, average build, bald. He was in one of our uniforms. Get in gear! Get in gear! Oh shit! So it's up! What is it? We've got ourselves a loose cannon here, possibly armed and dangerous. Somebody help me! Do we have a description of who we're looking for? No suspect way. is bald around. It appears the suspect has slipped into something more comfortable. Come in. Get him out in the open. This is big dog. You copy? Close in on him! Come on! Help! I need help! Would you see something? What the? Man, I got nothing to report from my current location. Over. Over here, over here! You all right, man? We've got a code 6 AD that's armed and dangerous. Shh. Better lock and load. Very dangerous weapon. Okay, 
Please stay put. I'll take a look. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What do you... General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So, he, uh... He got cold feet. Tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh... Not smart, but uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Stop that! Stand up! You're gonna regret this! We lost visual on the target. Don't let him get away! Understood. What is this? Target spotted. Target spotted. I'll bring you down! Welcome to Marrakesh 47. The situation. Why do all those people hate the Swedes all of a sudden? You have come closer. I can't remember. Huh? producer from GNN on the phone with me, desperate to get a cameraman for the interview while you go Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Did you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Right in the 
Of course I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. Would you believe I said my name was Finley? Right. So I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. Go! Leave! Greetings! Uh, invites only. Please present your personal invitation. I guess it was not. Sorry, soldier. Not coming through like that. Get moving. Hello, recruit. That is the worst parking job I've ever seen. How did you even build up the speed? I don't, I don't know. It's all a bit of a blur. Let's split before anyone sees us. Just tell my father-in-law the protesters. Did.
You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg.
Gotcha, gotcha. You're I got a big it. mistake. It's a storage area. Ah. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate... I'm very sorry. Uh, let me get out of your way. Hi there. Yeah, I, I just wanted to get some plates for my elderly uncle. He, he loves all that colorful camp. How's your father? Doing well. Yeah, Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport flick. Oh, that's nice. Series. Book one. Title Diplomacy's Edge. When his best friend is killed by a Langley approved drone strike in the mountains of Pakistan, CIA analyst Nick Sparta quits the agency in protest. Three years later, Nick works as a freelance security advisor in Egypt. However, when a dying Interpol agent hands him a badly damaged USB key, containing fragments of the mysterious 
Omega Charter, Nick Sparta is forced back into the deadly world of espionage. Do a sinister cabal of powerful individuals are orchestrating a coup d'etat that could potentially destabilize the entire region, and Nick is the only one with the knowledge and skills to thwart them. Perhaps Omega are using the Strandberg character as a lightning rod. They allow him to escape and take shelter at the embassy in Cairo, expecting riots to break out. That is perfect. I should probably make him Norwegian. Thank <laughs> you. 